Hello everyone, my name is Puneet. I'm part of Informatica Global Support. The topic of today's presentation is DEI on dot drive. The agenda of today's presentation is like we'll try to understand what is Docker and what is an image, what is a container, and what is a repository. Further, we will see how how to install a DEI on Docker or uh, how to you know uh, uh, directly run and install uh, the DI Docker container or how to build or uh, how the way of you know building a new DI a Docker image. Uh, we will see all these things as a demo and with references. So before uh, we start, let's try to understand what is Docker. A Docker is a way of packaging the application with the necessary dependencies and configurations. So whenever we you know we need to uh, run any applications, so we need dependency jars and you know dependency files, right? So uh, Docker is uh, uh, is very similar to that, where you know it needs it, it is a kind of a you know, package uh, with the necessary dependencies and configurations, and these packages can be moved uh, around. Okay, so here uh, it is mainly used for you know de dev uh, or you know deployment process. So now, what is an image? Image is an application uh, with a package of dependencies, and this can be moved. And if you look at the uh, a screenshot which I've uh, uh, you know presented here on the screen, so here uh, I I have a image uh, which is of ten four one di. Uh, so this is an image. So this is not, I know this is not a Docker. So this is just an image which has all the dependencies, and this can be moved here and there. Okay. So then, what is a container? So it's a layer of operating system, and uh, you know uh, uh, this application with a complete configurations, and we can pull the image, and then we can start these applications. So then it creates actually a container on locally. So if you look at my previous slide where I have pulled the image, so where uh, in my system I have only the image called 10.4.1.di. Uh, now after running the image, so there is a container got created for that image. So this is called the container. So this is the container ID which is D3290B C9FFD. F7. Okay, so this container is running on the image 10.4.1 DI. So until and unless you you start the you start the you know the image or you start the container uh, image, so the container will not be get, get created on your locally. So uh, you will initially you will pull the image, then uh, you will start the image, so that will create a container locally. So this is about the, the difference between the image and the container. Now we'll try to understand what is repository. The repository is the place where you know we store these Docker images, and this can be of public uh, or the private repository. And uh, during the time of Informatica, uh, DI or any power center products are uh, to be installed on Docker. So we have built a utility, and this can be used uh, to pull the image to your local uh, you know, servers. So this is a screenshot uh, which I have taken from one of the DI utility. Uh, here uh, you could see that under the download the image form, we have both the public and private repository. So you can select which image you wanted to download it. Uh, and this will uh, take around 30 minutes, uh, which contains around 27 GB of uh, you know, a dependency jar, uh, which takes around 30 minutes and will be downloaded to your local machines. Once the image got downloaded, then you have to start the you have to start the image uh, in order to create a container utility. Uh, sorry, in order to create the container on your local machine. So these are the few basic uh, Docker commands where uh, if you want to pull any Docker image from any of the you know in, any of the public or private repositories, uh, you can use Docker pull. And to run the image, you have to use Docker run followed by the image name. So that creates a container. If you want to stop the container, then you can give stop, Docker stop uh, followed by you have to give the container ID. Similarly, if you want to start the container, then you can give Docker start followed by you know the container ID. Or uh, if you would like to see the what are the process the Docker IDs are, start, are running on your local machine, then you can give Docker PS or Docker PS hyphen A. That gives the hidden application IDs. Similarly, if you want to remove the Docker image, then you can specify Docker RMI is the command. 
and if you would like to go inside the docker container then the command is like docker execute itv it, it it takes you to you know it will take uh, you inside the container and if you would like to see the docker logs uh, then the it's a debugging uh, command can be used to debug the docker uh, utility where you can use docker log is the command so now what is a di on docker so here uh, you can use the informatica power center docker utility or any di docker utility to create informatica domain services and also you can build the informatica docker image uh, with you know base operating system uh, and the informatica uh, libraries to run an existing docker image to create an informatica domain with a container now let's see like you know how to how to download the docker utility and how to run it and how to download the di docker image so here I am, I am on the, uh, the my local server machine where I already have downloaded the docker utility. This docker utility can be downloaded from the marketplace and once you are downloaded it, you have to extract the docker utility and once you have extracted it, there will be a startup.sh followed by you can specify the port number and if you do not specify any port number by default, it takes uh, you to the port number. So, by default, it will take you to the port number. Uh, or if you if you have any port number which is open, then you can specify the port number. So once you have uh, you know started this script, uh, the utility script, this will uh, create a URL, the client URL. Uh, uh, you know, by using this URL, you can log into the browser. So this is how uh, I have logged into the browser. Once you're logged in, there will be a three options. One, you can quickly deployment by you by downloading the image and uh, you know by running that image, or you can build your own Docker image, or you can run the Docker image. So in my case, let me just you know showcase or let me show you demo on like how to uh, download and uh, run an image. In this case, I am you know downloading the uh, data engineering integration DI Docker. So I'm installing on the premises. Uh, you can also go for uh, AWS on uh, Kubernetes. So here I have to specify my local image, where uh, uh, local VMware details, where I have to uh, pull the image and have to down uh, download and have to run the image. So in my case, I'll be specifying my you know uh, the uh, the local VMware uh, IP address and the host uh, IP address and the username and password. So once you give your details, some uh, machine details, and then you can click on next. So there it will ask you to enter uh, or give the you know the path of uh, your DI license key, and followed by you have to give uh, you know the volume uh, shared directory location uh, where you wanted to install the uh, uh, the DI Docker. After that, you can specify the image name by selecting the private or uh, uh, public repository. Then you can select the image name. Uh, you can specify which image you want to download it. In my case, so let's download the DEI. Uh, once you have clicked, uh, once you have specified that uh, image name and all, uh, you can see. You can also click on create config, create uh, create a cluster configuration. So uh, you can select the options, and and this will take you to the next page where uh, under this page you have to specify the cluster details in order to create the CCM. So in my case, let's select the DI 10.4.1. This is our latest Informatica DI product. So we have selected this and we can we are going on next. Since I'm in my VM, uh, my container is already installed and running. Uh, so I got an error saying that the the DI 10.4.0.1 container is already exits and uh, uh, delete the container to proceed. If, if, if it is not there in your permissions, then you it will you know prompt you to the next page where you can just click on uh, okay, that will take you another 30 minutes. So there it will download the image. So now once the image got downloaded, you can come back to your, you know, the, the VMware where you have installed your Docker uh, utility uh, and where you have your uh, uh, Docker installed uh, where you can just search for Docker images. So this will uh, show you the image uh, which is here uh, docker uh, image which we have downloaded from our informatica repository that is the item for one docker image uh, so now in order to run this image you can uh, use a command uh, called docker run an image so that will that will you know create a container that is a local container will be get created on your vm or uh, in your server so uh, since i have already started the container let's see uh, 
by checking the docker and configuration. Docker configuration and configuration. That gives you the container name. So in my case, I am using an image called dot and four one, and uh, this is the, uh, the the container ID which is started. So once it is started, um, and once this image uh, will be get downward, and it will be it will start on automatically uh, once you have uh, uh, clicked on the URL. So once the image is started running, then uh, you can directly log into your admin console. The same admin console URL will be displayed once you know use this URL and once you have uh, clicked on next. And if after once it downloaded, it automatically validates the the license key and it, it installs all the necessary uh, services. Once it is installed, it will display the uh, the admin console URL on screen itself. So having that uh, URL, you can directly log into uh, the Docker uh, utility. Uh, uh, where your DI is installed and running. Uh, uh, the, by default, the username and password is uh, administrator and administrator. And now uh, we are, you know, into the admin console of DI104. Uh, whereas, like by default, there will be a data integration service will be up and running, and there will be a model repository service will be up and running. Uh, in order to have any you know mass uh, services that will not be there by default, you can you have to create it by clicking on actions, so uh, you know clicking on the domain new and new mass service. Make sure uh, you have to uh, whenever you're creating any of the services, you have to assign the uh, the port ranges which will be you know uh, which will be uh, from uh, 6009 to 6109 so this is the default uh, ports got picked up uh, during the time of uh, the docker utility installations so the same was you know showed here so if you look up here uh, in the utility where uh, the time of downloading uh, where it is showed in order to use power center it will it will start with 700 and it ends with you know 71 one zero. Similarly, for data engineering product, it will be like six thousand to six thousand hundred and ten. So all your services has to be in the same uh, port. Okay. So this is how you actually you can actually install and uh, run a Docker image. So now I'm logged into a developer tool. We will run a quick mapping and we will just check it how it goes. So I have developed a you know, simple pass-through mapping height to height uh, where I've already created a CC with high connections and uh, let's quickly run this mapping and uh, we'll see the output. So before the mapping runs, let me take you to the you know the infra home uh, which is uh, where our container is up and running. So I am into uh, my image, uh, this Docker execute PI or IT and you can specify the image name which it is you know being running on the container and we have to go inside this bin and bash. So now we are inside the uh, container. Now let's see the allocation LRPA. So here uh, we have our you know uh, 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 we have the informatica being installed in this particular location. So under the home, uh, there will be a Informatica directory got created. So this is our, uh, you know, uh, the Docker utility infra home locations. And here uh, we will have all the services uh, which will be having it in normal on-premises installation. So where you'll be having all the, the same directory structures, uh, which is being, uh, uh, you know, was there all the other uh, on-premises Informatica installations. So you can see the Informatica services should be added. And since it is not going to run, we'll be having all the uh, latest uh, Hadoop uh, uh, libraries being shipped here. J7.1, 7.0, and so on. And if you would like to, if you would like to, you know, start and stop the only the Informatica services, then you can go to, you know, see the top hat, bin services. Where uh, by just you know, clicking on info, info services dot sh, uh, you can stop and start the services. So this how uh, you can stop and start uh, only the Informatica domain services. Uh, and if you would like to stop or start the Docker, you, you have to come out of uh, from this Docker uh, container. Then 
then now we are in the home location so again you have to uh, do a docker images uh, docker from container or docker ps -E. so this will give you the list of containers which is being running on your solution so in my case my di is running on this docker id if you want to stop or start with this docker id then you can use docker stop uh, or whatever you have to specify the docker in your own id uh, will be used uh, running here okay so now uh, uh, we were running a mapping now we'll see yeah so the mapping status is like it is successful and we have completed we have you know read the record from the high table and we have written to one more high table and this is running on so this is about uh, the docker di uh, similarly we have it for edc and uh, the power center uh, and uh, you can make a utilization of this tool so we would like to hear from you please write us to support videos at informatica.com and follow us on twitter.com slash infosupport thank you